Hi, I'm Tom Davis with EXP Realty. And today I have a special guest, Christina Mendonca from KFPK iHeartRadio. And we're going to be discussing the current real estate market, whether homes are selling, whether now is a good time to buy, and if now is a good time to sell. How's it going, hey. Christina? <laughs> it's going well, Tom. I'm doing really well. How about you? Doing great. Doing great. Considering things, but we're doing well. You know, I feel like a sense of optimism this week, like things are starting to open up. We're seeing more and more counties open up. You're starting to see more cars on the road. People might, you know, are heading back to work. But what I really want to know, because we're getting questions from our listeners, what's the real estate market look like right now? Are things selling? Are things moving? Well, great question. And just like you mentioned, things are really starting to open up. Obviously, at the very beginning of this pandemic, um, things definitely slowed down. Volume reduced, home pending sales reduced by about 40% um, through March and about the four, first four weeks of the pandemic. But for the last two weeks, um, we've had significant increase in buyer activity, seller activity. Um, homes are going pending. We're almost back to the volume that we had uh, before the pandemic. Just to give you some numbers real quick, um, on average, the, week, the first week of March before the pandemic, there were 590 new pending escrows, homes that were selling. Uh, we did drop down to the low point, which was about April 1st, and that dropped down to about 334 pending escrows, so almost in half. But now, this last week, we had um, 564 homes, that's in the Sacramento, Placer, and El Dorado County area, go into escrow. So that's 80 homes a day. So to answer your question, yes, homes are selling at the rate of about 80 homes a day. So buyers are buying and sellers are selling. And of course, everyone is taking safe precautions during these uh, crazy times right now. Yeah. Talk to me a little bit about that. Now, I've been talking a lot to our listeners about your virtual open houses. So I know that you have those going and those have been um, really well received. What kinds of things, other things are you doing to keep your clients and your staff safe? Well, that's, it's amazing how we can really leverage and take advantage of technology right now with uh, virtual tours, with uh, 3D videos, and with the drone videos and really be able to capture the true uh, feeling of the home and open houses, virtual open houses, walking through to really capture the true feeling of the home so buyers can see it at, at their home. I mean, most people are still home, so they're able to see the home for the first time. Then after that, you know, of course, we take the uh, safe precautions to, to show the home to you know, see if they're interested. Right, and it's nice because then you can go back and look. Like you're, if you're thinking, is my sofa set gonna fit right there? You can go back right. and look. Yeah, absolutely, and most people, I mean, let's face it, no one really wants to buy a home. This is the largest investment most people make in their life. People, most people don't wanna buy a home before they actually see it live. So, uh, but the technology and the videos really helps. It's right. really nice. So as we talk about the economy, of course, we've had a lot of unemployment uh, and a lot of sectors of the economy are really suffering. People are concerned. Uh, is this going to be like another 2008? I mean, is there, is there a cliff that you see ahead or do you think things are going to stabilize? And well, I mean, as you said, homes are selling. So things are really kind of bounced back. Things have bounced back. But of course, we're not out of the woods yet. We are very concerned with the unemployment. We're also concerned with um, all of the forbearances that uh, there are actually 7% of the people who have a mortgage in the United States have filed for a forbearance. So that may have an effect on the market in the future, as well as commercial real estate is really not doing very well. It's suffering right now. I mean, let's face it, a lot of some of the restaurants are closing down and other businesses. So um, we do feel that we're going to have a good run in the real estate market for the next uh, four to six months. It will be a very busy summer. But after that next year, it's a big question mark what will happen. Um, and to answer your question, I don't think that we'll go back to the 
uh, defaults that we had in 2008. Um, first of all, um, we have equity. Um, the, everyone in the United States has an average of 60% equity now. So people have more equity in their home, which is different than before. And also all of the banks are more prepared now. They're working with clients. They're working with the forbearances and doing loan modifications. So we're not going to have the foreclosures that we had um, back in 2008. So you mentioned the forbearance. I mean, what are that's one tool that homeowners have available to them. What are any other tools if homeowners are are looking for a break right now? Maybe they're they're looking forward to hopefully getting their job back, but they're still off for a few months. What kinds of things can be done? Well. Great question. And I do want to just mention the forbearance. A lot of people do think that's a forgiveness. It's not a forgiveness. It's a forbearance. So of course, it's all of the government loans, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, FHA and VA. They're allowing um, mortgage holders to request a forbearance. And so they're basically putting the, the six month, four to six months payments that they're not making, put that on the back of the loan. So that's the forbearance. And they're also working with people with their credit, you know, the Fair Credit Act. You know, if someone does go into a forbearance or has some credit issues during this period of time, um, that will not show up on the credit. Plus, all of the landlords that, you know, in some cases, tenants aren't paying them rent. So they're also allowing forbearance uh, for those folks as well. And, you know, there's stimulus package. There's quite a few. It's, I think it was like an 800-page um, document that, you know, the stimulus package. So there's, I would just encourage everyone to reach out to your lender as soon as possible to see what programs are available. Right. Right. Definitely. Um, one thing that doesn't seem to have slowed down is the number of people um, applying, either doing a refi or getting loans right now, that market seems still really hot. Absolutely. Um, because the interest rates are so low right now, you can get a mortgage for 2.75%. I mean, which is amazing. Wow. So because of the low interest rates, a lot of people are refinancing and they're also purchasing homes as well. I mean, which is great. That's fantastic, yes. And uh, I know that it, it's a lot different than it was before 2008 because the rules might be a little bit uh, more strict or you may need a little bit better credit, but they're really carefully looking through all of those, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Um, yeah. So, okay, so maybe I have some questions. I'm, I've looked, I've seen a beautiful home on your website that maybe I want to take a closer look at. How can you help, help people sell their home safely? Like, what are the first steps? What do they need to do? Okay, so basically, obviously the photos, we take all of the photos, the videos, 3D, and then from there, um, once we expose and market the homes, by the way, to a lot of Bay Area buyers, we are seeing a lot of Bay Area buyers moving to this area. Once they do see it and they approve it, they want to see the home. So then they will, um, obviously we pre-approve everyone that we show homes to for their financing for that 2.75%. And then um, we have, we're equipped with, you know, with gloves, masks, booties. Um, and then so when the people do come through the home, we ask the sellers to open their doors, turn the lights on. So there's not any necess unnecessary, um, you know, touching things or opening doors or cupboards. And it just makes it a lot easier to go through and see and show the home. And then afterwards, you know, we wipe everything down and sanitize it. So it's, you know, done as safely as possible. Excellent. Well, Tom, you make it so easy, which is why I love telling people about you and your methods and your process. And, uh, and I'm glad to hear that things are going well, whether you want to sell or buy a home. I know you're super easy to reach, but I want people to know, again, 855-TOM-DAVES. They can call you anytime, right? That's right. 855-TOM-DAVES or tomdaves.com. Give me a call anytime. Uh, I'm just here to answer questions. We have care packages to support anyone. Just, you know, love to help and reach out. Great. Thanks for your time, Tom. Thanks, Christina. Have a good day. You too.